Braden Chapman. Oh, I'm 10 years old and I'm in fifth grade and I go to Turner Woods Elementary School. I was in Miss Laura's Christians class when, and when it was over, I prayed to God to be my Lord and Savior and he took away my sin. Baptism means that I am showing people that I believe in God and that he is my Lord and Savior and he took away my sin. My parents, Miss Lara, Mr. Wesley, and Miss Hope, and Miss Bobby, they all helped me learn about Jesus. Y'all have no idea how cool it is to be able to step into the baptismal pool on a Sunday morning. Uh, there is something, what's the word, mystical, about the moment of standing in this pool with somebody and baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. It is a very special moment, a very special occasion. I wanted to say something about the videos right quick, just as a reminder to you. We do the videos for two reasons. The first reason is... We're teaching the folks that are saved how to tell their story. We all, back in the day, had to go through evangelism explosion and CWT and all of this to learn how to witness, when actually all a witness is is a person that tells their story. And so when these folks are telling their story on the video, this is all you have to do in order to tell someone about Jesus, is you tell what happened to you. And the second reason we do these videos is so that you as a congregation can be blessed by their stories. Uh, Katie Logan's story coming up in a few minutes is gonna be long. Her video's gonna run a number of minutes. Uh, and we couldn't, we couldn't cut it because we wanted you to hear her testimony. And maybe somebody in here would hear and understand and Jesus would use her story to make a difference in your life. So that's the reason we do the videos. No other reasons but those two. And they're very important. So right now, let's baptize Braden Chapman. Braden Chapman, in obedience to the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ, and upon your profession of faith in him, I do baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My name is Colin Chapman, I'm 13, and I go to Grace Station Middle School. I grew up in the church, but it wasn't until transit camp that I finally realized that I needed to be saved, and from then on, I asked him to be my Lord and Savior. I want to be baptized so my friends and family will know that I've been saved. I want to thank my family, Pastor Andy, Bo, and Miss Laura for helping me reach this point. It wasn't but just a little while ago that Colin was about this tall. Wow. Colin Chapman, in obedience to the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ and upon your profession of faith in him, I do baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My name is Katie Logan. I am the mother to a wonderful and beautiful four-year-old. And I am a child of God. Okay, how I came to know Christ. Um, we used to go to church a lot whenever I was really young. And then as I got older, we would go occasionally. Um, by the time my junior, senior year of high school though, I had chosen not to come to church all that often. Um, I did graduate with honors and I got accepted to UGA. I know in orientation at UGA they tell you that to find a balance between 
schoolwork and the fun time or party time or whatever college time um and i thought that i could handle the balance i came from a very structured family um a really good family and that that taste of freedom for the first time kind of when you take an inch and i took an inch and went around the whole world a couple times probably um but i didn't I always knew god existed um and Jesus Christ. I didn't come to learn, really learn in depth about Christ until this year. Um, I I got into partying. I didn't keep my balance when I was in college. I ended up um, getting involved with what I thought were <clears throat> extracurriculars, um, but I ended up you know, experimenting with drugs. And then what for some people could be just a weekend thing or every once in a while thing um it turned into a really really bad addiction for me um i got clean a couple times and um i know it's been a decade of self-sabotage where there have been good periods uh, when things would get bad i would pick up the bible but then when things were smooth i would become complacent and then kind of like in hosea Four six it says my people perish for lack of knowledge. I just the lack of my knowledge in Christ and and the distractions of the world kind of kept the blinders on or put them back on for me. Um, I got saved this year, January six, two thousand and seventeen. Um, the last two years of my life uh, have been probably the most excruciatingly painful experiences of my life um i i relapsed after being clean for a while i there were traumas but most of it was self-sabotage um and when i know that i had the bible open every day in the year of 2016 because that's all i knew was to pray to god to help me and to help me but i know that I was so sick in my addiction and I was so lost in the darkness and I I was just so lost. I didn't know a way out. I didn't know any way out. Um, and it is only by God's grace today that I am here and that I'm alive and sitting in this chair. Um, it is only by God's grace today that I have It's only by God's grace today that I have my daughter back, that I have my parents back, that I have my mind back. Um, he saved me, and in all ways, he saved me, and he saves me every second of every day. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. So, that's why I want to get baptized, because as a further step or act in obedience but because i want to be able to show my thankfulness and i want other people to know how wonderful it is that we've all that he's already paid the price for all of us um i want to thank my parents for stepping up to the plate um, and doing everything that they've done for me and for Marley and for being an example of Christ's love for us because they have such a forgiving love um, with everything that I've put them through um, and they've always been very supportive and they're still supportive and I love them very much for that and everything they do for me. I want to thank Miss Donna and Miss Vicki um, for coming to do the Bible studies every Tuesday. And I want to thank my friend Allison, who's not here today, but um, I love her dearly. And if it was not for her and us bouncing scriptures off of each other all the time like we did, um, it really made learning the scriptures and learning the Bible a lot of fun.
Katie Logan. <clears throat> in obedience to the commands of our Lord Jesus Christ and upon your profession of faith in him, I do baptize you, my sister, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.